We all know the expression, play it down, for making less of a situation or a circumstance we might originally be inclined to do. But today's post is about playing it up, actually making more out of a seemingly small situation or circumstance than might initially seem warranted. Um, simply because what I've discovered is that playing it up often gets you further. Uh, and I'll give you an example of what I mean. I was recently speaking at a conference and I arrived there uh, to meet the conference coordinator and only to discover that she had not ordered me a wireless microphone. And uh, I was going to have to you know, work with a mic that was attached to the podium. And she says to me, well, I guess we'll just have to make the best of it. And I'm thinking, well, we? Because I'm the one who's going to be, you know, stuck behind a big hunk of plastic wood for an hour uh, trying to wow. So I would have been so much more impressed if she'd said to me, you know, terribly sorry this has occurred. Is there anything else that I can do to make you more comfortable? Can we maybe change the room setup? Can we alter where the books are being signed? Just something. I think I, um, I would have been much more willing to let it go. Uh, I, I feel very much the same way, you know, with corporations these days. I, I advise all of my clients to, you know, play it up, seemingly small things. Why? Because customers can take to the internet and and let companies know how they're feeling. You know, between the, uh, YouTube and Twitter and Facebook, um, your grievances will become known very quickly. I, I don't know if you've seen this website, www.paypalsucks, but I don't imagine that PayPal is very happy about it and uh, I know for certain that after a, uh, a passenger watched a United Airlines employee destroy his guitar and refused to admit that it occurred um, and wrote a song about it and posted it on YouTube um, that United ended up changing their baggage handling policy once that YouTube video had gotten 500,000 hits. Uh, for myself, speaking for myself, I know that when I went to the big box store to return something and I was halfway through my explanation about why and my customer service representative said to me, whatever, um, I went home and tweeted about it. So the next time, you know, you're in a, you know, a no-fault situation or in a seemingly small, you know, moment where it could go either way, I highly recommend making more of a big deal out of it, apologizing quickly, playing it up. Uh, I guarantee everyone involved will move on much more quickly.